I have my last tea bag of T2's Melbourne breakfast and I want to share with you how I felt while I was emptying a whole box. Hello everyone, this is Snoopyolic and welcome to my tea log. Yep, I have my last tea bag of uh, Melbourne breakfast blending from T2, the famous Australian tea company. And um, yeah, I don't know if you can see this. This is my last tea bag and I would like to make uh, milk tea because that's what I have been doing with this tea because like once you just um, open this and smell there is significant really strong strong vanilla aroma and in that case I usually go for the milk tea so I'm gonna put this in the cup and make milk tea and I prepare some tea food as well. So let's drink tea and talk. Okay, I got my tea here already. I made it uh, with the milk. I know some of my friends, especially from UK, will make fun of me. Is it a tea with the milk or milk with a tea? All the time. But I'll say this is certainly tea with a milk. Yeah, I I remember I got this um, T2 T2 Melbourne breakfast from my friend just like yesterday. She she was living in Australia at the time, but she was moving to Canada. And she knew that I really, really love Australia and I really, really miss it. So she brought this souvenir from um, the country and I was very happy to, to get it because I was in Melbourne about for a week. Okay, I was in Australia. I lived in Australia in Sydney. I was there for like working holiday and I I was working in the travel agency and yeah I lived there for about a half year but before to do so I went there to update a travel guidebook of Korea and um, well of Korea but information about Australia yeah and I was uh, there for that and I my first place ever I landed in Australia was Melbourne I landed on to Melbourne International Airport and I moved on to Tasmania and from Tasmania I traveled and gathered all the information I needed and came back to Melbourne and I started do the same thing because my job there was to update travel guidebook called Hello Australia actually and my part was that part like Melbourne, Adelaide and also like uh, Alice Springs and what is that rock that you called? Ayers Rock, yeah, I also <laughs> <laughs> I, oh my god, my, my memory is getting really short these days. <sighs> I'm so worried. Anyway, um, yeah, like Ayers Rock also, like Northern Australian part, right? So that's all I had to cover. Then I went back to Western Australia to cover there again. And after doing so, well, which take me about three or four months, 
After doing so, I kind of fell in love with Australia. So I thought, okay, why don't I try to live there? And luckily, I had a contact who wants to hire me at the time. So, and that that office was in Sydney. And, and that's why I get I got to live there. And I, I lived there about half year. And during the half year, I traveled all the East Coast cities. Like, I started from Sydney up to Cairns, and that was very nice as well. I did a lot of stupid things as well, and that stupid things can be done because I was very young, I think, at the time. And uh, yeah, that's, that's about it, pr probably. Okay, back to the tea. This tea too is very famous. Australian brand and um, it's so funny because once I got the T2 Melbourne breakfast blending tea I couldn't open it for a long time almost about a year because I have this stupid habit that if I have something very good and something nice I have to wait for the right feeling that is perfect to open and I can fully enjoy it which is quite stupid, to be honest, because, hey, it's a food. You have to just open it and just enjoy the most of it while it is fresh, right? But yeah, I well, I did the same thing, just being myself. I waited like nine or ten months until I first opened it because... I wanted to make this kind of videos about the like uh, what is it taste like and how is it nice and or bad or whatever and I wanted to appreciate to my friend who gave it to me and I've been waiting and I I found that day that okay this is the day I am opening the, the box and I did and I did record that moment and every time when I open the tea bag boxes I try to put them in these kind of containers like uh, I prefer the glass rather than the plastic also I want to find something with a uh, like strong sealing cap this used to be the Japanese rice wine case long time ago but I've been keeping this and I use this all the time to preserve my tea bags fresh and it's very doing its job very very well I like it and when I was putting them in here I I was thinking oh when it's going to be empty and blah 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 then every single day every morning ever since I open the box I will drink milk tea in the morning that's my kind of my life ritual in the morning and it got empty now I just uh, made my last milk tea with that Melbourne breakfast blending so yeah I, I like it like I said already this is uh, it's a vanilla flavor strong vanilla and it brings back all the nice memories I I made in Melbourne yeah I was there for business but I I did a lot of nice I met very nice people who invited me to the parties, their private party, and we had party and we had fun. Everything was very interesting and fun. Mm. I like this Melbourne breakfast and I've been drinking this uh, in the morning and I was quite happy about it because this Melbourne breakfast has that um, special 
breakfast tea blending um, sensation, like he, like waking you up in the morning, breaking fast because it is not just mild; it has that strong kick in the in the tea taste. So it seems like very very sweet and mild and and um and fresh there is a, a kind of a fresh sensation as well so you will be experiencing very complex nice um interesting flavor with this tea and there will be a kick a little bit of kick of the strong strong tea a little bit of a bitter bitter taste coming up not like a really bitter and not very happy but it is gentle and nice bitterness that try to keep you awake like tap 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 hey it's morning good morning wake up and make a good day so it has been perfect morning tea for me if you love um that kind of blending that vanilla and also a little bit of caramel and that kind of sweet 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 blending you should try the melbourne breakfast and melbourne breakfast has that um, kind of a chic and also very artistic kind of a flavor sensation when you drink it. I think it's probably because it is perfectly matching my taste maybe. But for those who has who share the similar taste with me, may, you guys will like this too. So try this and if you are lacto tolerant i suggest you to drink as a milk tea because it goes perfectly well all right i think that's it for today i hope you enjoy this video and also help you to decide whether if you want to drink titus Melbourne breakfast or not. Thank you so much for watching everybody and I hope to see you in the next video. Until then everybody, have a good time. Bye bye.